Welcome to the Task Analyzer by Sensei Project Solutions. The Task Analyzer is an app for Project 2013 that helps to ensure a high quality schedule by reviewing each task for potential issues. If I select a task in the project schedule, the app on the right hand side will tell me whether that particular task is in compliance or if there are issues. I'm building a schedule here that's due to start in December and I just want to review to see if I have any issues. I go through the first couple of, of lines here. They're all compliant. Everything looks great. And then I get to gather business requirements and I see that I have forgotten to assign a resource to this particular task. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. This is actually Tom's task and I know that he's working on it at uh, 50%. So I'm going to close that out. And you'll see immediately the task analyzer will determine that we're now in compliance. As I keep going through this, I get additional messages such as this one here that says that I should only be using deliberate constraints in my schedule. And in this particular case, this is a valid constraint because it's an external dependency that we're receiving the business plan. So that one's, that one's fine. I can even go ahead and ignore this particular issue, but I'll leave it alone for right now. The next task here uh, I get a message that the task name should be verb driven, action oriented, specific, and unique within the schedule. And that's true. I started typing this task name out and then I didn't get any further. So I actually what I wanted to do is say document detailed scope for project X. That's actually what I intended to do. And now you'll see that I'm in compliance here. And the next line here is a blank line, which I shouldn't have in my schedule. This was a mistake when I built it, so I'm going to go ahead and just delete this particular task right here. And now that's gone. And then let's move on to the next one, develop project schedule. That appears to be in compliance. Facilitate deployment plan review meeting appears to be in compliance. And then I have a milestone here that has a couple of issues. One is uh, there is a resource assigned to it. And of course, I shouldn't have resources assigned to milestones. And again, this was a mistake, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this assignment. And then the finish to finish predecessor, I'm going to ignore that for right now. Uh, that one is OK. The gate review milestone has a scheduling lag, and that's just an informational message to let me know. And that's actually perfectly fine. That's uh, deliberate. Then I have a task here that I, I added late, but I accidentally put it in the wrong place. It's sitting at outline level one, which of course should not contain detailed tasks. And I need to move this task uh, to sit right in between the deployment plan completed and the gate review done. So that's fine. And then it looks like I also didn't add it to the baseline. So let me go, just go ahead and add this particular task to the baseline. And now that rolls up and this particular task is in compliance as well. Again, this is the same uh, scheduling lag that we, we saw earlier and this is deliberate so that one's good. Moving on to the next line item here, I have a, uh, a resource assigned to a summary task and this was because when I originally built my schedule, this was a detailed task that I promoted to a summary task. So let me go ahead and get rid of this one. This is obviously not right because as we know, we shouldn't have resources assigned to summary tasks. It looks like this, but this next one here, I have a link, and uh, we shouldn't be linking at summary tasks. Uh, we want to make sure that all the relationships that exist are documented uh, at the detailed task and milestone level. level. So I got to get rid of this particular uh, link right here. And let me just look at, there's actually no predecessor on this one. It's linked to this one right here. I'm just going to delete the link in the predecessor column. And now that task is in compliance as well. The next task here, gather additional detailed requirements, appears like it has a duration longer than 15 days. Our organization has said that we don't want tasks longer than 15 days because they carry more risk. And we also don't want tasks with more than 80 hours of effort. So I, ideally, I should be breaking this task out into smaller, more manageable tasks. Now. We could continue going through the schedule like this, but let me just go ahead and review the checks behind all of these. And they break down into four categories. They are work breakdown structure checks, 
which um, helps me identify whether something is an outline level one should only be phases and project level milestones, outline level two should only be deliverables and phase level milestones, and so on. And I get to choose the severity of each of these. And I also get to choose whether I want to ignore this particular check. If your organization does not follow this WBS standard, simply ignore this check. Otherwise, determine that it's an issue or a warning or a message. Similarly, we have resource checks, such as milestone tasks with resources assigned, summary tasks with resources, and so on. We also have linked, link uh, checks, summary tasks with links, detailed tasks with missing predecessors and successors, and so on. And we have scheduled checks. And throughout all of this, you can set the options uh, as to what it is that you want to check for in your particular schedule.